The Tragedy of Children in Nursing Homes. Hi, I'm Rebecca Crosby. I'm a social worker here in the Tampa area and have been for about three years now. I'm a community liaison for a health insurance company and I'm also involved in many other self-advocacy activities. I'm the current chair of the Florida Self-Advocacy Alliance and I'm also the title holder for 2006 for the Miss Wheelchair Florida pageant. Why children shouldn't be placed in nursing homes? A nursing home is the last place I feel like a child should be anytime that anyone is institutionalized and not in their own home. It puts a huge strain on their natural development and their natural well-being. Having spent some time in a nursing home myself, uh, when I first moved from Orlando to Tampa, I just felt a huge sense of anxiety and I just wasn't myself. Um, I, I couldn't stick to my own routine. I, I couldn't I couldn't spend time with my friends the way I had. I had I had been used to working two jobs. I had my own apartment when I lived in Orlando, um, and because of health issues, I would I, I moved, that's the reason I moved to Tampa, and I had to let everything that I had known in Orlando go. Parties they should be playing outside in the backyard with their friends, and if they're in a nursing home, they're completely outside of their normal routine. All they're seeing is nurses and orderlies and being locked in a room by themselves and that's that's not a place for a child that's not a life for a child they're not eating their normal meals they're not seeing their families on a regular basis they're not having their stuffed animals or their their blankets that they're used to and what kind of a life is that for a child what does it feel like to be a child in a nursing home So just thinking about my own experience as an adult in a nursing home for 10 days and the anxiety and the pain that I felt, I can just imagine being a child and the isolation and anxiety that they must feel and not knowing what's going on and not being able to speak for themselves and how scary that must be. And I don't feel like any child should have to endure that. What is next? Hello, my name is Richard Chapman, and I would like to thank you for watching our video blog about children in nursing homes. Our next blog will be on the subject of what we are doing about this tragic issue. Thank you.